Tony Abbott has outlined a manifesto he says would help the coalition win the next election. The former Prime Minister wants an urgent overhaul of the constitution and investment in new coal-fired power plants. This is Malcolm Turnbull sought to downplay divisions within his government. From Canberra, Greg Jennett reports. You got rid of Tony Abbott and that was a personality I did not. Tony Abbott suddenly the talk of talkback. He's scalivanting around the globe bloody doing Kevin Rudd in the blue tie. <laughs> thank you. Well, he's nailed it there, hasn't he? Well, well look, uh, let, me, let me just th thank you for that. In blue tie and in Brisbane, he's not one easily sidelined. I can assure you, I'm in no hurry to leave public life. Tony Abbott is not a minister, he's not in the cabinet, he's not in the ministry. Reflecting from the back bench, the former Prime Minister's mood is dark. Because it hasn't been a great year for Australia. He's full of policy suggestions. Unhappy with the direction of energy prices, he wants a freeze on renewables and a government-owned coal-fired power station. Where government has ruined the market, as it has, government must make things good. To ease pressure on housing, he'd order a big slowdown in migration, currently running at 190,000 people a year. And his boldest suggestion of all? The mother of all reforms, and that is reform of the Senate. He's demanding an urgent referendum at the next election, so when a government can't get its way in the Senate, deadlocks could be broken in a joint sitting without the need for a double dissolution election. Coming after Christopher Pine's boasts of factional supremacy. Are you Australia's most untrustworthy politician? <laughs> Tony Abbott's second public intervention in as many days confirms his intent on being a conservative thought leader, or in his own words, that he's drawing up the battle lines to give Liberals something to fight for. The question is who they're fighting against. Harmony prevails, at least for a little while. Thanks a lot. Thank See ya. You. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.